we just lack a genuine care and push across the student body. I don't know, these situations of, of, of pure hatred, malice, and then also unintentional actions, I don't know how you can hear those and not say, there's at least something for me to do. It's okay for us to be uncomfortable. Like, lean into some of that uncomfortability of students across many identities. Then you're finally at a good spot. Okay, this isn't just an issue that pops up once in a while or something that should be on our minds periodically, but how do we make it part of the norm? So, putting things in front of students that if, even if they're not gonna connect and make a tangible impact right away, we also have to be planting seeds for a longer term future. But I think more broadly, we need to have an understanding of lived perspectives beyond our own. We have to develop our social consciousness a heck of a lot better. Like we have to show that it matters to us as students, but let's push towards concrete, actionable, clear areas for improvement. But what do we wanna see done by a certain date that can be performed by these number of steps? We have to be so explicit that it's almost painstaking so that we're benchmarking ourselves, so that we're checking ourselves to say, have we, lived up to what's expected of us. Because if we continue to wallow in this, ah, this isn't good, things need to change, well, you have to be clear with what needs to change. We've gotta feed them through channels where they're actually gonna be discussed, researched, acted upon, and then clearly and transparently be expressed back to the population. There needs to be more of a constant feedback loop between students, administrators, faculty, and staff to go through it. I mean, I think it's just really about trying to Expose yourself to people with lived experiences different than your own and to try to find that sense of like shared common humanity within each other. But there's always more for me to know, understand, and hear from people about their experiences, what they've gone through, and who they are. I think it just really starts with saying, I see the humanity, the goodness in you. Then I think that starts to break down the walls of hatred and bias that continue to occur here and even beyond campus.